Hi hey everyone, I'm Rob, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a copper tin whistle. Uh, I guess it would be called a copper whistle, really. Um, let's start with what the final product looks like, so you can decide if it uh, is something that you might want to make. And uh, this is the final product, and the um, it's made from a uh, half inch type M copper pipe and the entire thing has been made from the copper pipe and just a few extra pieces and so let's start with the materials list so what you're gonna need is um, I have a piece here of two foot one half inch copper pipe this is uh, type M and the, the type apparently deals with the wall thickness. Type L is thicker and uh, you may actually get a better sound from it and if you have uh, access to a workshop, unlike me, uh, then if you can work with it, great. Um, I chose M because it is thinner walled and easier to work with with the hand tools that I did this with. Now in addition to this copper pipe, you're also going to need a length, not too much, of 5 8 inch oak dowel or some other similar hardwood um, and we want a hardwood because we are going to ultimately plasticize it and we want it to resist uh, moisture and so actually cedar would be ideal because it doesn't rot. Uh, so I'll put these two aside. In addition, those are the raw materials. Um, you'll also need a half inch to half inch copper pipe coupler, female to female. Um, the ideal would be to get one, if you can see here, the kind that has a stop hammered in it, because this will allow us to make the mouthpiece modular, as you will see. So for tools, you will need a uh, center punch, like this. Um, and a hammer. You will also need a file. Um, I like a small file like this, which, um, although the tip is broken off of this, uh, the file is quite sharp. It's just a straight metal file. Uh, you'll also need a hacksaw or some other way to cut the metal. Um, for the pipe, a pipe cutting apparatus, pipe cutting wheel that can accommodate half inch copper pipe. Um, you'll also need, um, now you can use a uh, power drill for this, um, but for the control, what I chose to do was to use a ratcheting screwdriver uh, that has replaceable um, hex shank bits and you'll see why in a, in a minute. Um, additionally, I also use a um, uh, soldering. This is actually a creme brulee torch, which I use for uh, soldering. Um, you will need solder, and you'll need uh, plumbing flux. Um, now for the ratcheting screwdriver, um, what you'll want is, I use a half inch countersink bit in there. This is, I use this as a hole reamer to very precisely control the size of the holes. Um, and to cut the holes, I use a 5 16 spade bit, which fits in there. And this is a really, really slow way of doing it, but um, I prefer it because it gives you really fine control of over the hole size. And the last piece of equipment you're going to need, actually two pieces, um, you're going to need some way to cut square edges in pipe. What I did was I took the end of a very small screwdriver and I filed it to a chisel edge, which I used for cutting. You also need a rubber band. Okay, um, and I'll show you what we're going to do with the rubber band in just a minute. And 
So let's get on to construction. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make the mouthpiece because everything is gonna go off of that. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to take a piece of copper pipe, okay? And you're going to measure um, 4.7 to 4.8 centimeters of that pipe. And you can take a piece of masking tape, like I have, and mark that off. So to this point here, to the edge of this tape, is about 4.7, 4.8 centimeters. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to measure from the end of the pipe, okay? And you're going to drill a... You're going to measure in about uh, 2.6, 2.7 centimeters. Um, and you can mark that by scratching it onto the pipe or um, by putting another piece of masking tape there or something. It's largely irrelevant because we're going to be drilling a hole at that point. We want to drill a, a 6.5 millimeter hole. Uh, ultimately, the hole is going to be about 7 millimeters wide. Um, but, we, but with the drill, you want to be careful because we don't want to remove too much material because we don't want to make the hole too big. So once you've drilled the hole, what you'll do is you will take a, uh, a metal chisel or, or whatever or whatever other implement you, you choose to use for this. I, as I said, I, I uh, took a screwdriver and I um, cut a chisel edge on it for this. And copper is pretty soft, so it's not really a big problem. Um, and what you want to do is you want to make a, a relatively square hole. And this hole isn't quite square, um, but it's it's pretty close. Um, you want the hole itself, let's take out the measuring tape. The hole itself ultimately will be, um, let's see, about two, about point, zero point, Six, zero point, I'm going to say 0 